I know who you are, lad. I'm surprised the commander of the Alliance would pay me a visit, but I'm pleased at that. As it happens, I was just starting to consider packing my things and paying your town a visit. Do you know why? Because I want to offer you my services. That's why. That's kind of you, but what's your reason? I hear the town's done a lot of sudden growing, and doctors are always in short supply. I thought I might be able to help. With all the battles you're fighting, there will be wounded, and I cannot rest for the thought of it. So, do me this favor, and take me into your employ. Welcome to the ranks. Thank you. People like you, lad, who stand up for others, oft suffer the first wounds. Should that happen, my healing will be at the ready. My name is Rowan, and you can count on me. I will be a pillar of support for you and your community.
say again, mate. You're looking for someone to work your trading post? Well, reckon there's no one better for the job than me. But hear me out. I don't go into bizzo with just anyone. Nah. Show me you know the game by trading your way to, let's say, 50,000 in profit. Then I'll join you. Fair? Now, what did I tell you, copper? Look at all that profit. Reckon it's time you and me got into bizzo together. You just hand me the reins, and I'll light a fire under your earnings. Take my word for it, mate. With a grin and a wink, I could sell oil back to the snake. Welcome to the ranks. Pleasure's all mine, copper. This is Atherbalt? Sure is. There are so many people here. I hope I won't get any strange looks. Anybody bothering you is gonna catch a swift boot to the backside. I am very happy you care for me so, Marissa. But please, do not be booting any backsides on my behalf. Oh, here we go. The girls are practically inseparable already. What do you say, Noah? Want to buddy up? I look forward to getting to know you, Alwi. Really? Well, that's great. Guess you gotta be open to all kinds to command the Alliance, huh? Shame my brother Lakian doesn't share your tolerance. Let's can the grumbling and get moving, alright? Oh! We're headed to the castle of Norister's King Salas Belrand, I believe.
This is the castle of His Majesty King Salas Bailrunt. No visitors are allowed inside without permission. Uh, don't we have permission? Yes. Wave said His Majesty had been informed in advance of our visit. Maybe something got lost in transit? Listen, bud. We got an emissary of the Guardians and the Commander of the Alliance here. Dear me, but this is no way to treat a lady. Marissa of the Guardians, I presume. You know who I am? Wait, lady? Forgive me. I am Maxim of the Naristuri army. As I recall, you visited this castle once before, while escorting your Grand Warden during a ceremonial affair. <laughs> I can't believe you remember that. I have something of a gift for names and faces, particularly those of beautiful women. I shall announce your arrival to His Majesty at once. Might I inquire as to your entourage? I'm Alwi, an elf of the Fawood clan and younger brother to Lakian Arkathis Fawood. And you are here as his emissary? Uh, sure. Something like that. I'm Noah. Commander of the Alliance. Ah, I have heard word of your achievements in the battle for Eucharist. You are most welcome here. And the young lady? I am Nil, a friend of Marissa. A dear friend. Holy. Then you are important guests indeed. Please follow me. He seems like a very nice man. Sure does. You positive about that? Uh, you two definitely need to learn not to trust people so easily. Oh, is that right? The nation of Norista welcomes you, Guardian Warrior Marissa. And you as well, Commander. I am told your name is... Noah? Greetings, your majesty. I have come as an emissary of the Grand Warden. And I'm here to stop Dukes Aldric of the Empire. Yes, we are aware of the Empire's recent activities. Dukes Aldric, that snake, pretending to strive for peace while secretly harboring designs on our territory. A rumor has it, the Emperor's assassination was his doing as well. Truly, he is the most vile of scoundrels. I am General Electra, commander of Norister's military. I have already sent to Kinan to request reinforcements. Am I to understand you have already dispatched an envoy to you, Chris Noah? Yes, Periel went personally. Countess Groom, you say? <laughs> well, considering she's as much to blame for igniting this conflict as Aldric, I'm glad she's at least attempting to make up for it. <sighs> that woman has already done far too much damage. If I may, Your Majesty, I can foresee several possible routes the Empire could use to launch an attack against Norister. 
Until the League's armies are amassed in our territory, our forces will be focused on trying to figure out the Empire's plan without committing ourselves to a mistaken position. And it's not just the Empire you have to worry about. There's also a Revenant Horde on the move. So I understand. Although we have been unable thus far to determine their purpose. Is it possible they're helping the Empire? Perish the thought. We don't need things getting any worse. Still, all we can do at the moment is wait and see. King Salas, are you in here? You there, halt! Somebody, please. You stand before King Salas. Identify yourself. Um, r right, of course. I'm Rudy from the village of Scris. We've got kids who need your help. You cannot just barge in here. Enough, Maxime. Tell us about these kids, child. Um, it's my little brother and his friends. They went into a nearby cave on a dare and never came out. And it's been two days. And why bring this to your king? Has your village not raised a search party? We did, but the cave was full of monsters and they had to fall back. But what if my brother and his friends are further inside? Legend has it there's a giant monster living at the heart of the cave. We... We can't save them without your help. Please, your majesty. Right, no time to waste. I'll put together a capable team and... You will do no such thing. Your majesty. The Imperial Army stands ready to beat down our door. We are in no position to reposition any troops, no matter how few. Yet your subjects are in danger, majesty. It would be most unlike you to ignore their pleas. We're in the middle of a crisis here. I will forgive your barging into my hall, young man, but I can spare no soldiers for this matter. But, but my brother and his friends are all gonna die! I'll, I'll go. go. Cool baby. Huh? Who are you? I'm a guardian, and he's the commander of the Alliance. How's that for backup? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Is this acceptable? Your Majesty? Seeing as they're here as our guests, I suppose I'm in no position to object. I trust you can handle the particulars, General Electra. Of course. So where's this Scris you're from? Northwest of here, up in the White Crowns. We should hurry. Be! Right, follow me! Maxim, I want you to accompany them as well. I think His Majesty can forgive the absence of a single man. Please. Of course, General. I will not disappoint. Wait, but isn't the Allied Army coming here from a different route? And what if the village sends a message? I will remain behind to handle such affairs. Thanks, Nell. I appreciate it. If that's settled, we should depart. Allow me to escort you, ladies. Good hunting, all of you. Be careful. We must all do all we can. Why?
Well, how'd it go, Rudy? Uh, are they sending help? You're looking at it. This is Marissa of the Guardians, and Noah, Commander of the Alliance. I take it those kids are still in the cave? We don't have much time. Let's go save them. Oh, thank you so much. The cave is on the north side of the village, but it's full of horrible monsters. Please, my daughter's down there. You have to save her. On my honor, as a Nari story captain, your children will be rescued. I didn't realize how cold it'd be up here. All the more reason to reach them quickly. And once we do, I wouldn't say no to a nice, hot bowl of stew. We'll make all the stew what you can eat, sir. Just please, save him. Come on, let's go! So this is the cave? Yeah. Don't worry. Noah, Marissa, and I will take care of everything. Perhaps you've forgotten that I am also part of this rescue effort. Ain't it nice to be recognized? We're wasting time. Let's move. What's this? Over there! <laughs> Rudy! I was so scared! Oh, don't worry, Juss. You're safe now. Ah, <sighs> that's a relief. Pee boo pee! Where are the other kids? I don't know, mister. We got separated while we were running. It's okay. We'll find the other three. In the meantime, stick close to us. Got it? Uh -huh. On we go, then. Wah! What the...? I... I can't move! Don't panic, Noah. Shift your weight left and right as hard as you can, and you should be able to break free. Phew. You were right. You know, that was kind of fun. Quit messing around, Noah.
end of the line? What we're gonna do is encase ourselves in ice and slide down. The momentum will carry us across the gaps. That has to be the daftest idea I've ever heard. You only live once. Let's try it. Okay. <laughs> Good times. Can we do that again? More like, can we please not? I thought my heart would stop. This icicle has a big crack in it. If we hit it hard enough, worth a try, right? I don't think a swing of the old weapon is gonna do the trick. Pooby.
Over there! Ah! Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. I'm so sorry, Rudy. <laughs> Don't cry, Livy. You're safe now. That's two down. Let's hurry up and rescue the others.
I see someone over there. Arlo! I was so scared, Rudy. Well, you're safe now. Is my little brother with you? Thomas? No. He ran further into the cave and... And... <laughs> it's okay, Arlo. Thomas is a tough kid. He can take care of himself. But there's a really scary monster back there. One who's no match for us. So, one kid left then? Yeah. I'm confident your little brother is just fine, lad. Poby. Anybody get real cold all of a sudden? Be on your guards, young ones. If you're frightened, hide behind me. There! Um, but where's my brother? D did that thing... Don't even think that for a second. Here we go!
Out of you. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, but where's? Oh no! Please don't let me be too late. shared by all. This is the last of the wayward children, yes? Sure is. Nice. How can I ever repay you? I'll give you whatever you want. Just name it. That's really not necessary. We just did what anyone would do. Thank you, Miss Guardian. Thank you, Miss Guardian. Thank you, Miss Guardian. Uh, yeah, sure. No problem. Pooby? Really not used to this kind of thing. 
Thanks, Noah. Yeah, thanks, mister. I'm sure Norrister's military would have come if they could. The timing just didn't work out. Yes, I am certain General Electra wished it. It's because the Empire is going to attack us, right? Well, I know it won't make up for what you did, but I want to help you fight them. We'd be grateful. Thank you. Is that why there's an army on the other side of the mountain pass? Because they're going to attack us. Hold. There's an army at the mountain pass? According to the merchant what said he saw him there. Said he went to show him his wares and they tried to lock him up. Happened only yesterday, it did. Hmm. This can only mean one thing. Oh, guys, this stew is incredible. Hmm. Warms you right down to your bones. I'm gonna go grab another bowl. You've already had three. <laughs> I think it best we return to Athrobolt with all speed. If the Empire's army is on the far side of the pass, they'll likely attack ere long. Good point. We'll move out soon. You all have my gratitude for aiding that village in its time of need. No need to thank us. I mean, we offered. Exactly. Yeah, never mind us, Max. Don't you have some icy general lady to go report to? I mean, she's all you talked about on the road. Hmm? Uh, yes. Of course. Ah, uh, to see even a hint of a smile grace that icy face would be a reward more valuable than any treasure. Seriously? I assumed you, of all people, would understand this, Noah. But if not, I assure you the day will soon come when you do. For love is what changes mere boys into men. Uh, if you say so. <sighs> Someone's coming. Marissa, Alwi, Noah. What's wrong, Nil? Your non is in danger. What? Baby, baby. Okay, what's going on? We have just received a report of strange tidings in the Great Wood outside your non. An Imperial invasion? No army has been sighted as yet, but forest creatures are said to be fleeing the woods in droves. Strange tidings indeed. Think maybe it's related to that King of the Revenants guy? Oh, but this is madness. Not only is the Kinani army nowhere to be seen, but the Eucrisian army, which departed before them, has yet to arrive. What are we going to do? I will dispatch troops to investigate the situation at once. Thank you. We'll go back there right away. Sounds like we're in a race against time. Again! Maxim, I'm putting you in command of this. Lead your troops to Yarnan and work in tandem with the brave warriors of the Guardians. Yes, General. No. No! I won't allow it! Absolutely not! Your Majesty! Out of the question! Why? For all we know, this is some kind of Imperial diversion. With our League of Nations allies yet to arrive, I'll not spare a single soldier from the defense of Athrobalt. That is an order, General. Wait, but... With respect, Your Majesty, the Guardians are a crucial ally. We owe it to them and ourselves to... Since when is it your place to decide what's best for this kingdom? You think to supersede my decision? What utter gall! I've half a mind to relieve you of command! <sighs> Forgive me, your majesty. I spoke hastily. Blast it all! Where are those reinforcements? Now, don't they realize the League of Nations is in peril? Okay, now what? General Electra. I must object. 
The king has spoken, and we will honor it. I apologize, noble guardian warriors, but we can send you no aid. <sighs> Let's get out of here, Noah. Right behind you. General, we're going to Yarnod. When Periel arrives, could you please explain the situation to her? Of course. I hope everyone in the village is all right. Baby Pooh. They are. I won't let anyone lay a finger on my village. General Electra, I... Ugh. I will not defy a royal order, Maxim. My hands are tied. Also, I'm not even sure King Salas is wrong. This easily could be a diversion. They say it was a surprise attack from Aldric's Legion that sealed Eltisvice's fate. If Norister should fall before our allies can assemble in her defense, the League of Nations will collapse and a great many will suffer. I do not want that. I and the army exist for the people. I cannot undermine discipline by disobeying an order. I must stay bound by my guiding principles. I understand, General. Thank you for what you did for Scris, and for the intel about the army beyond the peak. While I cannot mobilize our troops, I've not revoked your command. Make sure your company is ready to move the moment I give the order. <gasps> of course, General. What the heck does strange tidings mean anyway? It means we better hurry back and see for ourselves. I just hope there's still time. We'll make it. We have to. R right Everything looks pretty normal to me. I think we made it back in time. Let's go see the Grand Warden. <sighs> Wave! Marissa! Noah! You're back! We heard strange things were afoot out here. Did you figure out what's going on? No, but the signs are looking worse all the time. In fact, a bunch of patrols I sent out haven't returned. One was a team of hardened vets, too. Taking them down would be no easy feat. What could possibly be doing all this? It's gotta be that Skeleton King guy, right? Him and his army of revenants or whatever? Ah! Oh, that... noise! Nil? What's wrong? What was that? The concealment magic will not hold much longer. They will soon learn what is happening. But it is no matter, for we have the numbers we need. Ah! My soulless liches will overrun this place and steal nourishment from the living. The lens demands payment in blood. To sate it is my duty and my eternal wish. And sated you shall, as agreed. What's going on?
It feels like lens magic, but the power is vast. Also, something about it feels terribly wrong. An enemy attack, maybe? Okay, what the hell are those things? So many. Are they revenants? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I sense the power of a rune lens, and not just any lens. This one seems to be calling to the revenants, sustaining them somehow. Please tell me that entire army isn't coming for us. No. Please, no! What do we do? Run! Run! Wrong! Running is the one thing we won't do! This village is special to me! I live here! I grew up here! And there's no way I'm gonna let a bunch of damn corpses defile my home! Orissa. She's right! We can't let them take Yarnan! They'll pay the price for underestimating us! We'll fight to our last breath! Enough, all of you! Think for a second. There's no way we can fend off a horde like that with our numbers. So what are you saying? Just hand the village over to them? If we don't, they'll kill us and take it anyway. Fine! Then they kill us! I'd rather die than watch a bunch of undead freaks sully my home! Don't do this! You'd be throwing your lives away! This is my home we're talking about, Noah! I know. And no home. It's worth dying for. The Empire overran my town and burned my home to the ground. But we ran, which is why Aunt Martha and the other villagers are still alive today. We didn't lose the one thing that matters. Each other. But this town matters to me, damn it! Enough, Marissa. It's not like you to lose your cool like this. But I have to do something! I respect how much you love this place, I do. But let's get our priorities straight. You and everyone else come first, then this place. Your family to me, Marissa. All the Guardians are. If we lose our town, our homes, fine. We rebuild, but there's no rebuilding if you die. The world needs Guardians too much for us to throw our lives away. And yeah, maybe there comes a time where we have to do that. But this ain't it. I agree, Marissa. You are very important to me. So please, for my sake, don't say something so sad. Poppy! <sighs> all right. I get it. Then we're all on the same page. We Guardians need to get everyone out of here. So long as we're alive, we can keep fulfilling our duty. No matter where we end up. With your blessing, Grand Warden, Yes, but first we must stall for time so the children and others can escape. Now that's something worth risking our lives for. Guardians, secure the entrance to the village! It sounds like we have work to do, Marissa. <sighs> we can't let a single revenant through until the evacuation is complete. Move out! <sighs> Will you fight at our side, Noah? <laughs> Do you even need to ask? Good. Then let's go. Yes. And first we look. Marissa, over here! They'll be on us before you know it! It's a relief to know you're fighting on our side, Noah. Up 
try my best. Uh, hello. I'm also here fighting at your side. Yes, but you always are. Enemy sighted. Marissa, Noah, you take that side. On it. Colby! Big mistake. Yeah, 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 yeah! Help me! Yeah. Damn it! even count as exercise. We got him! <sighs> Bought ourselves a moment's rest at least. Nope. Scratch that. More incoming! Let him come! Any last words? Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah. Like it? Help me! What? so hard. <sighs> There's no end to them! We have to fall back! We'll intercept them inside the village! Marissa! Noah! No! Don't fall behind! You either, Alwi! I've been promoted to afterthought. Joy. here until everyone has escaped. Agreed. Pooby Pooh! They're here. Big mistake. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah! yeah! You're getting it now! Rune! What you get? Look at me go. This feeling must be what you call fed up. Pretty much. Hmm. I believe I have deepened my understanding of your emotional states. So how fed up are you? I am extremely fed up. Is now really the time for this conversation? Come on! Help me!
This will help. You okay? What? Last one! That's what you get! All right, <laughs> let's fall back a little more. Remember, we're just playing for time here. Okay, let's try to buy him a little time from this position. I have many wonderful memories here. And now look at it. Marissa. This is my house. My home. Kobe! It's true that we have to leave here for now. But we'll come back one day and reclaim it all! You're right. We will. We must. Then let's go win this thing. Challenge accepted. so hard. All right. Who's next? Keep him coming. <sighs> Guardians. Just speaking the name vexes me. But time has robbed them of much of their former strength. Come, my liches! Bring this land under my dominion! Is he the one behind this? I'm gonna take him down. Easy, Marissa. No throwing our lives away, remember? We keep a level head, analyze the situation, and take the optimal course of action. That's the Guardian way. I have your back, Marissa. So please, do not put yourself in any needless danger. You've got Noah and me, too. Remember that. You want a piece of me? Step on up! Take them apart! Bam! I got you! You okay? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ugh! 
like it. Ah! I got you. You okay? Hey, hey, hey. Yo. Ah! Time to withdraw everybody, and I mean everybody. <sighs> All right. This is not goodbye, Marissa. We'll return to this village one day. It is my home, too. After. Oh, baby. We finally made it. Everyone who left the village ahead of us should already be here. Noah! Marissa! Maxim? I heard your village was overrun, and I'm grievously sorry I was not there to help. All the evacuees have been taken to the castle. Thank you. I do not deserve your gratitude. You helped me save my people, yet I was unable to aid yours. It's not your fault, Maxim. What's the situation here? Countess Periel has arrived, along with the Eucristian army. She has asked you and Marissa to join her at the castle for a summit. Got it. Thanks. <sighs> Alas. Yet again, my search ends in vain. Oh, where must I venture to partake of the flavor once more? Um, is everything all right? Oh my, forgive me. You caught me musing aloud. Are you a traveler? Good day to you. I am but a humble fox sitting becalmed in the lee of memory. Well, I'm Noah. Is there anything I can do to help? How kind of you to ask. This must be the whims of fate, as I do indeed find myself in dire need of assistance. It just so happens that I'm in the midst of a personal journey, wherein I endeavor to awaken my potential as a bride through culinary competence. Whoa, you're getting married? Congratulations. But should you really be traveling alone? It's all kinds of dangerous out there. Oh, gosh, no. I have yet to find my one true soulmate. And as for the danger, you need not worry. My spear and I can fend for ourselves. She seems strong. We need not worry about her. However, I am embarrassed to say that my prowess in battle has come at the cost of most other talents. My dear mother has endeavored to teach me what she can, lest I become a spinster. Yet my skill in the kitchen has still been found wanting. Slicing with a knife felt all too cumbersome, so I turned to my spear, and lo, the cutting board was sundered in twain. Rather than simmer gently, clearly inefficient dawdling, 
I stoke the fires to glorious peaks of flame, yielding naught but charcoal. My miso soup, a truly fundamental dish, salty mush. My sweets, indescribable lumps of every hue aside the expected one. Found wanting sounds like an understatement. After pushing my mother to wit's end, she showed me the door with an oath and bade me learn the basics of cooking before returning home. And such is how this fox was cast into the wild. So basically, you want to learn how to cook? Oh no! At present, I'm quite incapable. But the item I seek will, I hope, unlock my mind and enable me to understand my problem with more clarity. What are you looking for? I cannot quite recall. It's something I ate when I was little. I think if I had another taste of it, it would spark something. But alas, for all the lands I have visited, I have yet to remember its name, let alone its support. Here is what I can tell you. It contained a variety of vegetables, and such was its flavour that even one bite lifted the spirits, and it had notes of fish, despite not containing any. You wouldn't happen to know what it is? I don't know much about cooking myself. Oh! But I bet Kurtz could help. I'll see if I can figure it out. Thank you. I will tarry here and ponder my future. Kurtz, mind if I call on your expertise? What's the matter, Noah? I'm looking for a certain dish. It's got lots of veggies in it, and its flavor cheers you up. And, oh yeah, and it's sort of fishy, even though it doesn't have any fish in it. Ring any bells? Huh, will you be having that right now then? Oh, it's not for me. It's for this person I met who ate it when she was little, and now she can't remember, and so she can't get married. You'll bend over backwards for just about anyone, won't you? But you came to the right man. So you know what it is? No! And since not knowing drives me up the wall, I'm gonna find out. The wait is over. The recipe you seek is a bygone culinary favorite called vegetable milk soup. And that's not to say people don't make it anymore. They do, and it's quite popular. But the ingredients, preparation style, even the name has changed over time. Yo, stay put. I'll prepare a bowl for you right now. I give you vegetable milk soup. What your friend craves is a taste of her childhood. Whether I've captured that or not has yet to be seen, but I tried my best. Go on then, don't keep her waiting. Thanks, Kurtz. Is this what you're looking for? What is it? May I have that? Hmm. I don't believe it. Noah, I know how rude it is to ask, but might I try some of this? Oh, well, sure. Thank you. <sighs> this is the recipe. I am certain of it. The soup is neither too sweet nor too salty, and the aroma carries up the nose and laps up the mind with visions of seafood. I could cry. It's bringing back so many memories. Noah, 
What is this called? It's called vegetable milk soup. That's it? That's the whole name? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am so sorry. I shouldn't laugh. You won't hurt my feelings. I didn't make it. One of my comrades did. I think I might have convinced him it was for the greater good or something. He's very passionate and sincere when it comes to cooking. He knows how much it means to people. Personally, I'm just really happy you like it. Passion and sincerity. Is that what it is? Noah, the scales have fallen from my eyes. Huh? Thank you. At long last, I am beginning to think there is hope for me. Oh, and... <clears throat> Henceforth, you may call me Foxiel, bride in the making. And now I must repay you for the nourishment of body and mind. I will make my spear dance for you, and also try not to destroy your kitchen. Is there something you need, young man? Actually, yes. I'm looking for new comrades. Not necessarily fighters, but people who can contribute to our town and make it a better place. Then I suppose you'll be wanting a theater, a place to stage plays and the like. The theater was my life's calling once, but woe upon me, I fear my passion has been wrung from me like a wet rag. These days, I'm utterly unqualified to set foot near a stage. Well, I'm not made of stone after all. A story with enough passion might be just what it takes to reignite my love for drama. But for today, I must ask that you leave me be. If it's in fate's script, then our paths will cross again. Hello, young man. We meet again. Is that a script you've brought me? May I? This is the one. I'm sure of it. Thank you. Hmm, let's see. It's called The Star-Crossed Lovers. Yes. Oh my. Hey, Gats. It's beautiful. A story of the highest caliber. Yeah? Oh, I could weep. I haven't been this moved in years. And to think, it walked right up to me with this masterpiece in hand. It can only be fate. In which case, the vicissitudes of your life must be an exciting tale all their own. Uh, if you say so? Clearly, young man, we were destined to meet. Two players sharing a scene in the world's grand scenario. I thought I would never work in the theater again. But now I can hear the powers above shouting in thunderous tones, the show must go on. You mentioned you were looking for comrades. With your permission, might I build a theater in your town and serve as its impresario? Welcome to the ranks. Outstanding. My name is Clark, and I will give you wonder. I will give you splendor. I will dazzle you with fleeting dreams. The show will go on.
You go. There you are. I knew I would find you. Uh, Aoi, uh, what are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. Along came our training day, and my teacher never showed up. Right, about that. Would you just hear me out? Today, Yugo, you will see firsthand just how far my archery has come. Oh, here we go. Why do you have to throw reason to the wind when you get upset? Um, for any years? More like she's always been around. I'll explain later. Right now, I need your help. She'll calm down if we beat her in a fight. I'll take all of you on. Ready if you are. Then it begins. Challenge accepted. How about this? This should do it. What? <sighs> Not even worth sullying my blade. Ah, uh, no. Uh, I expected more. You're still letting emotion get the best of you. Those big wasteful movements. But I... I worked so hard. You left me all by myself. I thought if I kept training... Oh, no. We didn't mean to... Ah, let her get it out of her system. I've known her since she was a tyke. And this is how it always ends. Her father and I are old sparring buddies. The way she bawled the first time she watched us fight. <laughs> Fierce as a tiger one moment... Weepy as a willow the next. <laughs> oh, so that's why. Hmm? I noticed you act differently around her. I could sort of tell she's someone you're close to. Well, what do you expect? Of course I'm going to be sad. I lost. It's not the same as when I was little. Well, anyway, we've been through a lot, Aoi. But you have gotten stronger. What do you say, Noah? She's proven herself a capable fighter. Can she join us? Of course. There. <laughs> you hear that? What do you say we celebrate? Anything you want. My treat. Dorayaki? Right. <laughs> to the sweet shop it is. Like right now, Noah. Go, go, go! Um, excuse me? What do you need, child? Oh, uh, nothing. I was just a little worried. I don't think this is a very safe place to sleep. I was not asleep. I was training within the recesses of my mind through an ancient form of concentration. So it's some kind of exercise? Yes. We guardians train in all the arts of war to better fulfill our duties. And one's training does not lie. Learn something once, and roots take hold. Learn twice, and blossoms bloom. But thrice, and the bowels of the mind shall break. Though at times, wisdom can be found among the branches. Forgive an old warrior's ramblings. I do not know how you came to be here, child, but this is no place for you. Be gone. But could I undergo this training too? If that was a jape, you'll find I rarely laugh. I will show you neither pity nor indulgence. Knowing that, do you still wish to train? 
Yes, absolutely. So be it. I will hold nothing back. Huh? These ruin golems were destined to crumble after their long years of service. I, uh, however, have reached into the ruin lenses at their core and given them a new destiny. The essence of a warrior is measured in an instant. With a single strike, grant these thralls eternal rest. Okay, I'll do it. Begin. Ready! Stronger next time. Excellent. Your stance was fluid, your offense relentless. You have emerged from this experience greater than you began. Oh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I had all but decided my fighting days were done. You have changed my mind. I am Galador, and I will lend my strength to your cause. Really? Okay, great.